So I like this model so much, and especially the price of it, that I actually went ahead and bought another colorway. Hey guys, welcome back to a Kicks Business channel, and today we're looking at another colorway of the Nike Zoom Court Pro HC. And of course, this is a tennis model that I've talked to you about uh, in my previous video that I really liked, especially the price, because regular price is over $100. Uh, Nike discounted them uh, for under 60 now, so I think you can have this colorway and the one I bought before for around $53, $54. Uh, and for that price, I absolutely love them. And I have to tell you, if you're playing tennis, you definitely need a pair like this that obviously you're not gonna spend too much money. If you bought these at retail, well, good for you. Maybe if you, when you're buying one or two pairs of sneakers a year, that's a reasonable purchase. But if you buy a ton, like myself, you always go for the deep discount and I can advise all of you, wait for the deep discount. Now, what's different with this one and the previous colorway, aside obviously of the colors, there's nothing else different here. We are talking about the exact same outsole. In fact, it's all white again, just like the other one. We have the encapsulated zoom air unit in the forefoot and we have nothing on the back. It's just the foam and the midsole is cut on the bottom where it says Court Pro, where you can see the plastic shank that is protruding even on the lateral side that's supposed to help you uh, with the return of your shoe and, uh, and kind of propelling you forward. Same exact mesh all around, minus the small Cordura or kind of canvas uh, overlay on the back for a little more protection. Uh, weird design choice with the, the ducktail on the back, what I call it, uh, but it's protruding and you have a tiny swish over here. The pull tab is again a rope or a round lace uh, sort of uh, design. Small swooshes on the medial side and the outsole, midsole, and we have air with even smaller swoosh on the forefoot where that zoom unit is. We have a thicker rubberized protector for the toe drag, which is excellent. And again, we have the five dots for the Nike Alpha project here present on the toe box and the lateral side of the outsole. We have the same design with the giant swoosh that is disappearing into the midsole. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I, know, I know people like that. But to me, I prefer smaller, minimalistic brandings, and I wish that smoosh was smaller kind of towards the end, but it is what it is. I'm not a designer, so I'm not make these choices. I'm just a customer. So here, this one is produced in August of last year. So again, they came in the early uh, 2023 but now they're finally on a discount and you can have them for $50. And I think for $50, you should definitely treat, treat yourself with one of those uh, pairs, especially if you're playing tennis and give them a try and see how you're gonna feel. Uh, the padding around the heel is not significant, but really for tennis, you don't have to have that much. Uh, you need uh, to be on your toes all the time anyway. Uh, maybe that's why we only have zoom unit in the forefoot and nothing on the back. The insole is the same green ortholite that's glued in. You can't really pull it unless you pull, uh, put a lot of effort in there. Uh, and for some reason, I have the number 10 written with a pencil inside on the inner liner. Uh, I don't know, maybe from the factory, but I just noticed that. So, hey, it is what it is. We have the tennis ball logo on the ton and we have it on one of the insoles. On the other insole is the logo of the old Challenge Court, which we all are familiar with and love from back in the day, those models. So yeah, uh, this is more like a classic uh, tennis shoe because it's almost entirely white. Uh, we know back in the day, uh, any colors on the court was kind of not allowed. And Wimbledon is still not allowed. They, they prefer all white. But anyway, I really like this one. I like the other one as well. So I'm gonna rotate between both of them and play tennis in them. Um, I really like the performance so far. The rubber is super grippy on the bottom. Hopefully it doesn't grind too much on the courts. Uh, but who cares? They're $50, right? When you get them on deal, you shouldn't care that much. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos coming very, very soon. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.